Oh, my name is Hanieri, and you are watching Reproducible Research Scout. Today, I'm going to show you how to install iStudio that will be using the R that we saw using Mamba uh, Package Manager. So from iStudio website, you can go to Download. We're going to select the iStudio Desktop. We're going to be redirected to select our installer. We're going to choose the Ubuntu installer. So we wait a little bit until the download is complete. With the download complete, we can go and open our terminal. Before you install our sudo, you might have to install some tendencies. So sudo apt install minus y lib c blank minus def lib p key 5. And now we can follow up with the installation of our sudo sudo dpkg minus i downloads i studio. If you try to open iStudio, it will fail because it's missing R on this studio. And as you see, it is missing R. One way to work around that is to load the R environment that we install using Mamba. So Mamba activate R and call R is studio. So here is our studio working. If you like to open from the GNOME shell uh, shortcut, we're going to have to do a few more steps. So let me close this one and clear the terminal. To work around the issue that our studio is not find R, we should call our studio using Mamba. So we're going to say Mamba run minus n r r studio. So here you have your working r studio. We're going to close here so we can go and do the changes to have r studio being starting properly from the GNOME shell desktop. So what we have to do is edit the command that's being triggered by the shortcut. And let me clear the screen. We need to know what is the path to Mamba. So we're going to use which Mamba. So let me copy the address to Mamba. And now we're going to edit the desktop file. All the shortcuts are located on user share applications you can see here the iStudio desktop file i'm going to edit this file using vi but you can use whatever editor you want sudo vi user share applications iStudio desktop so the line that i have to edit is the second one so I'm going to remove, I'm going to add the path to Mamba that I had previously copied. I'm going to do run minus n studio. And save and close. So the GNOME will refresh uh, automatically all the shortcuts. <coughs> And if you try to open a shortcut, it should work. So searching for uh, a studio. And as you can see, you have a working iStudio from the shortcut. Thank you very much for following along on the tutorial. And don't forget to subscribe on the channel and hope to see you in the next video.